When you open Dreamweaver CS6 for the first time, there are no real surprises, except on a Mac. The Mac desktop is now hidden behind this grey screen, just like on Windows. However, if you're on a Mac, you can revert to the old layout by deselecting Application Frame in the Window menu. The differences become more apparent when you open a web page in the Document window. The Document toolbar has been slimmed down, and it's only when you turn on Live View that the Live Code and CSS Inspect buttons are displayed, and the icons from the Browser toolbar have been merged into the Document toolbar. There's also this new multi-screen icon. This gives you access to the multi-screen preview panel and the window sizes menu. If you skipped Dreamweaver CS55, you'll definitely want to check out these features. The multi-screen preview panel allows you to view your page in live view at three different window sizes simultaneously. There are panes for phone, tablet and desktop, and the size of them is configurable. The Window Size menu changes the size of the document window, so you can see what it looks like in a smartphone. And if your styles use CSS3 media queries, both Design View and Live View apply the appropriate styles for the chosen width. Media queries also play a vital role in the new Fluid Grid Layout feature. This allows you to define a Fluid Layout Grid for mobile, tablet and desktop based on the number of columns that you want, and they can be anything between 2 and 24 columns. You can also set the size of the gutter between the columns and the width that you want the grid to spread across the page. Once you've created the basic structure and added some content to it, you can then snap to the grid. Let me show you an example here. When you load a fluid grid layout, you've got three icons at the bottom of the document window for mobile size, tablet size and desktop size. And this shows you the grid with the columns in the background for the tablet size. And if I select one of the layout divs, Handles appear at the top and on the side, and I can then drag and snap it to the grid. This is a powerful feature that enables you to rapidly build the structure of a responsive web design for mobile phones, tablets and desktops, but don't be fooled into thinking this is a WYSIWYG drag-and-drop tool for visual designers who don't want to touch code. Once you've built the basic structure, you do need a solid understanding of CSS to style pages created using one of these fluid grid layouts. In fact, there's a strong emphasis on CSS improvements in this version of Dreamweaver. There's a new Web Fonts Manager. This allows you to install web fonts quickly and easily and makes them available in all your sites in Dreamweaver. And once you've installed web fonts, you can incorporate them into custom font stacks using the Edit Font List panel. Lobster is one of the web fonts I've installed, and it's been added to this custom font stack. And up at the top here, I've also added Ireland Sans Regular and Ireland Sans Bold. They're both web fonts that I installed using the Web Fonts Manager. Not only that, Dreamweaver automatically creates the at font face style rule for your selected fonts. Another great new feature is the CSS Transitions panel. I used it to create the style rules to add a smooth transition to these images as they scale and rotate on hover. Dreamweaver's support for CSS classes has also been improved. Let me just go out of Live View and then I'll select this div here. And if I open the Class menu, you can see that I've got two classes applied to this div and you access the panel to apply the multiple classes by selecting Apply Multiple Classes here. It's a small improvement, but it's one that designers have been asking for for a long time. So, what else is new? Well, Dreamweaver's integrated version of jQuery Mobile has been upgraded to the Stable 1.0 version. And for styling jQuery Mobile, there is a new panel the jQuery Mobile Swatches panel. 
This allows you to select an element and change its theme in Live View. If you're into building native apps with HTML, CSS and JavaScript using the PhoneGap framework, there's a major difference in the way that it's been integrated into Dreamweaver CS6. Dreamweaver CS6 no longer installs the Android tools and emulator. Instead, a dedicated panel uploads your files to PhoneGap Build, an online service that generates and digitally signs your apps. It even allows you to build an app for iOS on Windows, although the signing key must be created on a Mac. In addition to all this, one of the most pleasant surprises in Dreamweaver CS6 lies under the hood. The FTP engine has been completely overhauled, and in my tests it's blazing fast. You can track the progress of large file uploads, and you can even upload and download at the same time. So that's a quick roundup of what's new in Dreamweaver CS6. I'll be covering all these features in this workshop. Feel free to dip into whatever interests you most, but I recommend watching the videos in individual sections in order, because subsequent videos often assume knowledge introduced earlier in the same section.